All aboard! I'm Jordan. I'm in Space Junk is Forever. I'm also the bus driver for this tour. And... I'm Madhu. I'm touring as uh, my solo project, Mono Martinez, with our drummer, Dimitri Fantini, who's awesome. And we're all sharing this tour bus together. I've been driving the whole time. Um, and I mostly booked the tour too and I think the mistake I made in this tour I've been feeling is that the venues are pretty, the cities are pretty far apart but it just kind of worked out that way so we got six or seven, eight hours of driving a lot of, a lot of the days <clears throat> which is long but I drove uh, cargo vans for years as, as part of my job for like ma way too many years that I wish I hadn't but it made it driving this thing like fairly routine it's a little wider a little longer than what I was used to but it everything looks the same I drove board vans it looks exactly the same up front you know one thing I think is kind of funny is that these wipers are like little dinky wipers on this giant van uh, but uh, yeah today was rough it was pouring rain here and you know outside of Chicago and the last couple hours was, was kind of rough I mean I just picked up the, the bus and you know, I was kind of surprised seeing like an aftermarket stereo, and uh, so I brought. Uh, there's an aux cord somewhere, but what we found was that here it is. But the speakers are such crap that it's They're just like here. not even worth it. They're like not it, yeah. not it. So bad. So I have a little Bluetooth radio that we've used. I, I find doing gigs like uh, most of the time after and dirt between gigs, I don't even like want to hear that much music because it's like. You're hearing the other bands, and it's so loud, and your ears are just exhausted from that. So I almost want to like keep fresh, so I'm not like you know listening to a lot of stuff. Really, I, I listen to podcasts a little bit, but I think we're mostly listening to stuff on our own. Although we had, we did have a fun session when we you know we first all got together because two separate bands traveling together with with people that are all involved with engineering and recording and you know studio work. We we're just showing off each other's music, and uh, you know, and it was all really different. There was like mostly like pop songs but there is you know death metal there's all just everything um so that was that was kind of a cool way to start but i feel like since then it's been like everybody with their own thing going on or have you just been talking yeah we've kind been of talking thing. a lot just throughout most of the trip we just talk and then yeah. there's moments of silence and then we talk again so yeah. it's been that we've been pretty comfortable with silence which is cool you know like we'll yeah. talk for a minute and then it could be like two hours and no one says anything and you know, some people feel weird about that, but I, like, we're all like immediately really comfortable with each other, both bands. So that, that usually means like at least two of us have headphones like shoved in our ears. <laughs> yes, like, yeah, I don't me, know. Me and Dimitri uh, definitely have been like listening to music all day, but I just feel like we've been getting really fatigued post show. Yes. Like we've been leaving shows around like midnight, one, two a.m. So I was fried last night. Yeah. And then this morning we didn't grab coffee until like an hour and a half into the drive and I was a zombie until I took that first sip of my cold brew. Same, I just slept I was like, until we up, got guys? coffee. Good to, good to <laughs> yeah. see you. Now we can be humans. Yeah, exactly. Everybody just started talking after that. Yeah. When I first bought this thing, it had seats going all the way back. It was a 16 seater and I knew we were gonna need all that. I took out a bunch of the seats, but um, I was really hoping to not have to take another row of seats out because then everybody would be like kind of squashed together and there'd be no extra room because we had a lot of gear. Um, and it was real close, but I've been kind of shedding gear as we go, like just stuff that maybe we don't really, like we, I, we had an extra like huge ramp that I was like, I was like, my uh, no, I talked to Chloe, I was like, don't, don't tell anybody, but I'm just going to leave this. Because like, everybody would be like, what a waste, why would you, why would you leave your ramp here? But I, I was so happy to get rid of that huge, stupid thing that we didn't need, it turns out. So, and there was a dolly that we shed, I just left somewhere. Oh, I didn't tell you guys, I left the, we had, last day we set up lights in the fog machine and stuff, and the fog machine just didn't really work very well. Like, I, I think, left behind too. I think I just didn't like, know what to do with it, or I, I, I tried all these things and I'm like, so I, at the very end of the night, I was looking at it. It was the last thing, and I'm oh like, I just went up to the bar and I said, Do you, anybody want a fog machine? I don't know if it really works. <laughs> they were like, yeah, cool. So we just left it in the venue. So it's like the we're paring down. Yeah, yeah right. we're running out of things that we yeah. can yeah. give away. The, problem, yeah. the only issue is having a lot of stuff keeps things from like shuffling around in the back. So honestly, right. like getting rid of the ramp was cool, but then there's moving. too much free space and yeah. there's room for error. But we've got this net here, uh, just in case of anything, so that there's no gear flying over our heads. And uh, we have things Velcroed to each other, so nothing's like slipping and sliding. I yeah, know. most of the gear is just back there, and we have that lift uh, that we use to like put all the heavy shit, like the heavy organs and that, so we can get it to the ground. 
And that's been a lifesaver, because there's no way we could get that out of the bus without that lift. Right. Everybody gets their own row, except for us two, we're the smallest, so we've been chilling together, me and Chloe. Uh, for the first few days, we were sitting over there, but I get really freezing cold, and Maru was like, you should sit over here, because literally the, the heater is right under me. So I've been chilling here. Um, Mike sits back here by himself, Dimitri's over there. So there's a lot of space to like hang out and do our thing. We usually have a big crate of merch that we put our feet on as well. Usually the merch bin goes right here and it's got like a hard top. So I personally just like kick my feet up all the time. Like whoever's sitting here, just like. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing lounges. this. Lounges. Yeah. Super comfortable. Yeah. Pretty good. I bring this penny board around with me. I've been like riding it. Yeah, it's fun. At like gas for stations. Fun. Also, yeah, this was just supposed like to be our tip jar, but it turned <laughs> into our it's trash garbage. can it's garbage jar instead. So that's that. <laughs> it's how it goes for small bands. Tip jar turned into a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been it's been pretty comfy. Yeah, honestly, tomorrow is the real tester of how mm. we'll do. It's the longest drive, um, but like we have room to move our feet. We can stand up. It's safe, like it's it's it was a it was a pretty good move by Jordan. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Jordan put that net up, so there's been some shifting around of gear, but thankfully, if something were to slide up, it would never like get to this side because it's covering it. So what it was was I, I posted a video on on it to our social media, and somebody commented who had been on a lot of tours and was like, "Dude, you, someone's gonna get hit in the head with stuff. Like it's, shit's gonna go wrong. You're gonna break hard at some point, and it's gonna be rough." And I was all defensive at first, and I, I was looking at it, and I'm like, that dude's totally smart. Like, yeah, I gotta, yeah. It's out of my nature. I'm always like happy go like, yeah, everything will be fine. But I, I was thinking about it. I'm like, I don't want to be responsible for that kind of that kind of accident. So with the Hammond yeah. organ set up, and the Leslie, and, the, and we have a Rhodes with stuff piled on, and we were trying to like keep it wired together as much as we could. And then we found out a couple of the venues had like rickety staircases. I almost booked a house party that I didn't tell you guys about in place of last night. It was going to be in Indianapolis. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Is it, is it in a basement? <laughs> and the guy was like, yeah, the stairs are totally always, treacherous. Yeah. And I'm like, no way. He's like, no, we can make it work. I'm like, nope, not doing it. It's like a 350 pound ham in Oregon. Like someone's gonna die, we're gonna be on local news. And that's not <laughs> the kind of publicity <laughs> hey, that we really want. Publicity stunt. That's what the, he said. He's like, it will still be cool. Like everyone will know. <laughs> everyone will know the band name because someone will be dead from the <laughs> ham and squatching them to death. Nah, Speaking not doing of it. accidents, we were driving to Chicago from Michigan and we just witnessed an entire trailer just start skidding on the road in front of us and then it just like a 32 foot trailer yeah it was not good it was it fell over big. blocked the entire road and we barely missed it we were able to like drive past it the driver was okay but it was just like it like crumpled so before scary. our eyes yeah and jordan handled it like a pro well yeah, yeah by, by being like oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck oh, oh, fuck, oh, yeah, shit, yeah. oh shit. it felt like 20 seconds because the thing was like he was trying to get control and it was just doing this and then at one point i'm like oh he's got it he's got it and then it like went out wildly out of control again and then it just like smashed into the guardrail and like broke apart and it was crazy i've never seen anything like that and luckily i was i wasn't tailing i was kind of hanging back and then i drove by and i unrolled my window i was like dude i'm so sorry that just sucks but we just had to keep going so. he was all right he, he, he but was, it was just he scary was like, he looked like odd oh, yeah. <laughs> literally waved to us like he didn't have to do that yeah <laughs> yeah he looked pretty collected for someone that just got a horrendous I accent he was just like and he had his puppy dog beside him i couldn't tell if he was collected though or just dead inside yeah, like, like, it's, a, <laughs> it's a thin line I like, I could could know. as soon as i if, I, if that were me if, as soon as i realized that i wasn't dead i would be like so humiliated like it's just <laughs> the most embarrassed ever so we've had really no issues with this bus other than oh yeah we, we got we got out of here like two days ago we pulled over to pee and we were like oh my god it stinks out here we were in like somewhere in ohio and we truly thought the town smelled like garbage uh, and then we got out at another gas station. We were like, wow, how does anybody live here? It smells awful. It smells like stink bombs. Then we got out at a third rest stop and we were like, okay, it's us. Something's wrong. So we found out the, there's a battery here that controls uh, the, the lift. Well, it turns out it's actually just works in tandem with the front. It's the whole, it works the whole thing. Yeah, there's so. three batteries in this. I replaced the one in the hood because I knew it was bad, but I didn't know there were two more in this stupid compartment here that were like the original batteries from 2013. They smelled like 
stink bombs. Ass. Like I was about to yeah. puke. Literally. It smelled like we, rotten eggs. Well, we didn't was, know what it was. It was right when we got into Ohio and we we're like, Ohio really smells. <laughs> <laughs> and then like we went to the next rest stop and we were like, that yeah, smells that's what back. I just said. Yeah. Wait a minute. Like three it, times that. before we realized. I, I truly have the thought, how does anybody live here? <laughs> how does anybody stand <laughs> for this? Want to see the lift? We'll show you now. Yeah. All right, so we got this. We got this thing that looks like a walkie-talkie. When I first got this, I had to sort of figure it out. There's all the stuff you have to do. The parking brake has to be depressed. The van, has, the bus has to be on. What are the other things? It's like all this crap that has to happen. Well, you have Otherwise, to like flip oh. the little handicap button. Yep, and that there, thing yeah, oh yeah, there's a handicap button in front. If that's not down, it won't work. And then there's a, a toggle switch here, which I didn't even realize was there at first, and which I had just left it on. So then it's got this kind of worn out thing. I mean, this is for handicap um, wheelchairs, like, so I was worried at first it wouldn't be able to hold the weight of the, the Hammond, but I think it's like an 800 pound limit. So, so you hit unfold, it's real quiet and nice. Look at that, huh? It's like a Tesla. It makes right. me feel so good Only watching when that. It's going down. Yeah, and then you hit down. Oh, it might not quite make it. Oh, Come it's gonna make it, it's gonna make it. Make it. It's it will, fine. it will. Boom. Look at that. So. Yeah, and then there's a little trick when you when you have to put it back up again. It only lets you go to there, and I didn't realize this at first. I'm like, why the hell won't it go up? But it, it makes you flip this thing and it's hold it there until it goes a little bit, and then it will go. So graceful. Yeah, right. So that's really an awesome thing for heavy, huge. Gear. We have a subwoofer that we're using on some gigs. We're Giant Rhodes, the Hammond, the Leslie, like it's everything. I'm literally the opposite of the technical person. Like I'm just like throw it in there. Well, it's because we've gone to so many gigs before where we don't do the Tetris thing. Yeah. And then we get the Hammond organ in there, and we get the Rhodes in there, and, and then we're like, close. oh no, we have a big subwoofer, and we have to take everything out. Yeah. So it's like yeah. we've got a list for like the order. We have spreadsheets. It's well, like you do. I have. I, mean, I, <laughs> I have think never that seen it. It's this. getting better. Like we have our shit yeah, together. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah, we got We're it figured quick. out. We know what goes in first. We do the whole Tetris things, and then we're. I just kind of let you guys do what you need to do. I'm like, you guys good? You got? <laughs> nah. it. I literally said, you got it. You guys, <laughs> like, you guys are you good. Need, you need? You don't need help, right? Yeah, cool. You're there right, for you the got it. Support. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and if you really need something, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. But, Hey, you volunteered to actually be one of four people to put the Hammond on stage just For now. like four oh, seconds. Wow. And then I was like, no. Yeah, they were like, <laughs> no, I'm not doing this. And it ultimately took six of us to get it up. It was a tough one. Oh, How yeah, did you, I miss you left, that? The, you left the premises. Because we started, <laughs> and Mike and I were like, this is not. Oh my I, it God, was I pretty didn't high stage. That at all. So we got two more big dudes. So it was six of us just lifting the whole thing up and down. And it's it's nice. quite an operation. The more, the better. With yeah, that but this is a, a very smart purchase by you. Yeah. All right. Can I drop you in there? Uh, you no, want to jump down? I, I, I would like to come out. All right. Up there. Well, thanks for checking out our uh, touring bus, our touring rig. Uh, we're going to be on tour for another week or week? so. Yeah. Pretty much exactly, yeah. 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 Uh, and yeah, it's been really great so far. So, my name is Maru Martinez. Uh, I'm touring with my solo project and my drummer, Dimitri Fantini. So, we're going to be on tour for another week or so playing our own stuff and you can find me on Spotify, Facebook, all the social media, just my name, Mado Martinez. Space Junkies Forever, we're finishing up in a week or so on this tour and you can find us on all the social medias of course, nothing really special, Space Junk is Forever. And it is indeed. It really is. Check us out.